That's Black Folk Family Reunion music there, boy. And you know Black Folk fight at Family Reunions, don't we? Bitch, she, you shouldn't have married that hoe. She ain't shit. She done fucked the family up. Ain't that a bitch? Look at security, ain't got no guns. Just gonna write a nigga name down, huh? Look at the white dude, nervous in the motherfucker, huh? <laughs> now you know how we feel we go to court, don't you? I ain't fuck with no white folk. Y'all blowing some shit up this year, ain't you? Well, white folk, y'all need to learn when to get the fuck out the building. White folk always getting killed at work. Black folk don't never get killed at work. Because we know when it's going to be trouble, don't we? Motherfucker walk in with a trench coat and a duffel bag. We know he ain't there to sell Avon. <laughs> we get to packing shit up. Where you going? On break? If you leave, it's going to be your last day. Bitch, if you stay, it's going to be your last day. <laughs> we don't never get killed at work. Every time you turn on the news, 19 white folk get killed at work. One brother in the parking lot doing an interview. <laughs> what happened? They all got killed. So now I'm the supervisor. I tried to tell them to come on, but I guess they didn't hear me because I was driving away at the time. I would have sent them an email, but they never taught me how to use a computer. <laughs> Get the fuck out dot com. Debbie, 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 that motherfucker got a gun. <laughs> You'll never see black folk getting killed at work. We ain't never had no job where we supposed to risk our life. We'll never be no secret service agent. They job is to jump in front of the president and catch a bullet for his ass. I can see a brother first day at work. Pow! <gasps> Something wrong. With the president, he laying down the street. Where you at, motherfucker? I'm behind the van. Don't you hear all that goddamn shooting? Where you gun? I gave it to the president. Shit, they were shooting at him. I don't know this motherfucker. This is just a job. Where you at now? Well, I'm in the van now. I'm coming down there to pick up my last check. This ain't the job for me. They always sit you next to the emergency exit on an airplane. In the event of an emergency, it's gonna be your responsibility to help other people out the plane. Bitch, that's gonna be real hard to do. I didn't get a help a motherfucker discount. I paid the same price that everybody else did. This motherfucker go down, I'm gonna be in the terminal doing interviews. What happened? The plane blew up! What'd you do? I got the fuck out, that's what I did. Well, what was everybody else doing? Bitch, I guess they burning up. I'm out here talking to y'all. I don't be in them people business like that. Wait, wait, wait a minute, ain't you the man let the president die? Mm-hmm, sure is. What you doing now? Oh, I'm on disability now. We don't be for that shit, cause we've been broke before. Black folk know what it's like to be broke. See, white folk broke, they kill themselves. The stock market crashed, so I got to kill myself. Black folk ain't gonna kill themselves cause they broke. You gonna kill yourself? Uh-uh, I'm gonna get my phone cut back onto my mama name and... Everything gonna be all right after that. You ever had a bill collector on your phone talking shit to you? <laughs> Look, goddammit, we have been as patient as we're gonna be. Now, when can we expect payment? Motherfucker, you can expect payment anytime you want. Look here, why don't you pick a date? <laughs> that way we'd be surprised together. Because I ain't had your money when you called last week. I ain't gonna have your money when you call next week. I'm telling you this because I'm tired of disguising my goddamn voice. Ain't no Chinese people live here. <laughs> that was me going, he know here, he know here. If you don't pay, we're gonna mess up your credit report. Motherfucker, ain't no more room on my credit report. What, you gonna staple some shit to my goddamn credit report? If you knew you weren't gonna pay, why'd you take the merchandise? I didn't think y'all gonna really let me out the store. You ever see black folk be surprised when they take our credit? They took that motherfucker? Well, hold up, let me put some more shit on there. Y'all giving shit away. And I'm glad it's cold now, cause black folk, we can't handle the cold, but we can damn sure take the heat. Cause we grew up with no fucking air conditioning, remember that? Mama, it's gonna be hot, but run in there and close the drapes. Like the heat just gonna stay outside. You're hot cause you're moving around, now sit still. I'm hot cause it's hot in this motherfucker, that's why the fuck I'm hot. You turn that fucking fan around on somebody else, you're selfish ass. And black folk don't ever had a whole fan no way, do it? Back of our fan always broke off, ain't it? Got that one cousin cut his lip on the fan trying to make them helicopter noise. It watched me make, ah! And I don't give a damn how bad you hurt yourself when we was growing up. Your mother won't never take you to the doctor. You can break your neck. You done broke your goddamn neck, huh? Lay down and take a nap, you simple bastard. I know it hurt. I know it hurt. I told you about fucking around. Because black folk are always trying to fix shit at home. See, if white folk got a retarded child, they're going to send that child to a school just for retarded children. Black folk won't admit they child got no problem with it. Get your crazy ass in this house. You better get your big head. Open the door, mama. Stop fucking.
fucking rhyme. It ain't a goddamn thing wrong with that boy, shit. He always wear a football helmet and cowboy boots. What if he at the Super Bowl and a rodeo break out? My baby just want to be ready, that's all. Because crazy white folk go to the crazy house. Crazy black folks stay in that back room over your grandmama house, don't they? You know what I'm talking about? The door always be closed. Kids scared to go. Don't you go back there. Uncle Booker T live back there. Can't nobody control this crazy ass but your grandmama. He going crazy at the table. Shut the fuck up, Booker T. You scaring them children now. And now sit down and eat your graham crackers. Because crazy motherfuckers love graham crackers, don't they? Just eat graham crackers and stand in the screen door and they draw. Just walk out the house with drawers and Stacey Adams on. I'm going to get some graham crackers. When we was growing up, everybody had that one cousin used to pee in the bed. Remember that? If you ain't laughing, you're probably the same little nasty motherfucker. We all peed in the bed because we all had the pee dream. Remember the dream? You thought you was out the toilet, but you really wasn't. You be just getting into it. God damn. I done pissed all over myself. Well, I'm almost finished now. Why should I wake up now? Your mother never bought you a new mattress. They just flipped that motherfucker over, huh? Well, it's dry on this side, little nasty bastard. We had them matches with the P rings in them, remember that? The older you was, the bigger the P ring was. Motherfucker, you was 22, you did this shit right here. We was growing up, got that. Remember, Halloween was a fucked up holiday because you never got the whole costume. Just the mask. You walk around with the mask and street clothes on, wondering how come everybody recognize your ass. Everybody want to be a superhero, but your mom wouldn't even buy you no cape. I ain't got no money for no goddamn cape. Shit, I can make you a cape. Go get me a towel and a clothes bin. You be mad, I can't fly with this heavy motherfucker on. I got to walk everywhere. I ain't Superman, I'm Negro man, that's who the fuck I'm in. Then your mother run out the room, don't use my good towel, huh? Take this dish towel right here. This towel, this big, come to right here, ain't that a bitch? Fuck, you gonna be a superhero with a short cape and a duck on your goddamn back. Ain't nobody gonna respect your superpowers. <laughs> you be going to people out, boom, 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 you look so cute. Bitch, you know I'm fucked up and I know I'm fucked up. Just put the candy in the bag. I don't need this shit from you. Fuck you. Then when you got home, your mama always wanted to check the candy. Let me check that candy first. Why are you checking all the good shit? You can't put no razor blade in no now or later. You just want some fucking candy. You ain't gonna walk down the street with no duck on your goddamn back. It was fucked up. Christmas was another fucked up holiday. Your father wake till 3 o'clock in the morning. He drunk as hell trying to put a bike together. And black folk don't never got no tool kit, nothing like that. Daddy, they said you're gonna need a screwdriver. Goddamn, a screwdriver. Look at the kitchen brain, me a butter knife. You ever go to a nigga house, all the knives bent up at the tip? You can't even cut your food straight. And black folk don't eat pork no more as good as the pig done been to us. I will fuck a pig up, hear me? Pig got to walk past my house dressed like a chicken. I ain't no pig, yes you is. I have a ham sandwich with bacon and I don't give a goddamn. People talk all that shit and I talk a lot of shit about this country, but you best believe I ain't gonna never move nowhere else. <laughs> you motherfuckers go back to Africa, send me a postcard, fuck that. Cause I need a bitch with a perm. Call me what you want, you get in my car with dreadlocks, I'm running your ass over, fuck that. Looking like Tracy Chapman, I'll fuck you up. <laughs> you wanna fuck with me, you gotta fuck with Lustre Silk, I ain't for that shit. Plus, everybody outside this country stank. You ever notice that? I don't give a fuck what language you speak. Washing your ass should be a universal language. See, in black folk, we don't, we don't like nasty motherfuckers. We don't even like to eat over everybody's house. We walk in, who made the greens? Did Big Mama make these greens? I can't fuck with these greens, man. Shit, I was in Europe. They took me to a Chinese restaurant where they actually served dogs. I swear to God, dog. You think about it, you never see no Chinese folk walking no dog. Cause you don't walk food. You ain't never seen black folk walking chickens, hey? You come on here, two-piece. Get your brother light bread, it's time to go. These kids don't know how good they got it, shit. We didn't have none of that Nintendo, that Sega, all we had was that fucked up Atari game, remember that? Boop, 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 boop. This some old bullshit here. Man. Remember when everybody mommy used to wear that fucked up house coat? Lost the string, had to hold it together? <laughs> get your ass in this house. Mom, why don't you get in the house looking like that? 
Everybody know you, my mama. You ever had your mama come pick you up in school looking so fucked up? You had to pretend like that wasn't your mama? Kids be out front, God damn! Who mama is that right there? <laughs> that's my mama, that's my mama. You know what we gonna do? We gonna go home for a little while. DJ, mash the button. Let's take them home for a little while, can you? Just mash the goddamn... Y'all come back home with me. Let's, let's go back to that same raggedy ass house we all grew up in, huh? Don't be shamed, because we got company. Got that one pair of pajamas supposed to last you your whole fucking life, huh? You was little, they had the feet in them, huh? You go out to feed your mama, just cut the fucking feet off, don't you? The more you grow, the more she cut. You 12 years old, pajama biking shorts on. By the time you're 18, you got shit on but a G-string and a two top. Come on home with me for a while. Let's walk down that long hallway with the plastic running down the carpet. The rest of the carpet dirty in the motherfucker, but under that runner is clean, ain't it? Let's go in that bathroom with the toilet that never would stop running. Remember that? Your mother coming in. Who was the last motherfucker in the bathroom? Go in there and jiggle that goddamn toilet. K ass in there and jiggle that goddamn toilet. Sometimes you got to take the back of the motherfucker off and hold that little ball down. Remember that hot water bottle hanging behind the bathroom door? Had that long white thing hanging from it, huh? You didn't even know what the fuck it was for. You been there just playing with it. Woo, this fun. <laughs> Trying to blow it up. Tastes like vinegar, huh? Your mother come to get your mouth off that. Do you know what that's been? Oh, mama. We done made Kool-Aid in it. You nasty motherfucker. You ain't supposed to put nothing behind the door you put up your ass. Come on, let's take a bath in that raggedy ass tub. Don't look around for that plunger for that hole. Put that wash rag in that hole like you know we do. Don't look around for no Mr. Bubble, cause you know we ain't got none. White folk had Mr. Bubble, we just had joy, didn't we? Sometimes you run out of joy, your mom put some tide in the water, huh? Throw some dirty clothes in there with your ass. <laughs> kick, motherfucker, kick, kick, kick. Lava, I'm itchy. Well, don't you let that water out. You know your brother gotta use it. Come on, let's walk in that front room with the flow model TV that don't work no more. Got a little TV on top of the motherfucker. With graduation pictures sprinkled all around that. Come on, let's go make us something to eat. I feel like having me a fried bologna sandwich. Don't you want one? Don't fuck with all the eyes on the stove, cause only one got a chance of working. And it need a little help, don't it? You gotta tear up that paper bag and light it up at the end. Five be high in the motherfucker. Don't look around for no new grease. All our grease came from shit we done fried up before. Kept it in that coffee can on the stove. You'll get your ass when you throw some grease away. <laughs> Who the hell threw this grease away? <laughs> Baba, I'm tired of everything tasting like fish. <laughs> Chicken ain't supposed to taste like fish. Come on, let's have a, some of that ghetto spaghetti. Y'all know what I'm talking about. The spaghetti with the cut up hot dogs in it. I feel like having me some, something to drink, but we ain't got no Kool-Aid, but that's okay. We got sugar and we got water and that's all you need. We, we just have some sugar water with me. Go on, turn the motherfucker off. Y'all done made me homesick. See, white folk, now y'all been over our house before. And God never put a more beautiful thing on earth than a woman, I swear for God, but y'all done lost y'all goddamn mind. Y'all listen to your fucking friends too goddamn much. Always got your friends in your business. You need to leave them, leave them. I always be the bitch with nobody in her life got all the advice. Leave them so you can be alone just like I am. Look here, ain't no Prince Charmers in this world. Every man in here got problems. Stick with the motherfucker you with, at least you know his problems. Ain't gonna be no surprises. But now some of y'all gonna try to fuck around and upgrade. You'll be done fuck your situation up worse than it was before. What if you leave a man cause he don't work? You might fuck around and get a man don't work and whoop your ass. Get your lights cut off and put your lights out. <coughs> now here you are getting beat up in a dark apartment. <laughs> I can't see a goddamn thing. <laughs> I'm going back to Tyrone in the morning. Girl, you got the number to the shelter. Cause every man want a good woman. Y'all ain't heard what I said. Every man sure enough want a good woman with a little hoe in them. You can't be just a good woman. You got to know a trick or two. Fuck that you on the usher board. You got to do some freaky shit every now and again. Some shit so freaky, we can't even look at each other in the morning. I can't believe you did that. You's a nasty motherfucker. You ain't learned that shit from me. Who you been fucking with? Get your trick ass out of here. 
But before you go, do it again. Boy, before you get married, you get all the fucking sex you want. After you get married, you're on some kind of goddamn ration. I don't feel like it. I got a headache. Girl, I don't even want to fuck with your head. You could be asleep for all I give a goddamn. Because every woman in here now woke up before, what are you doing back there? And nothing, but I'll be finishing a minute. Now turn around, you done fucked my concentration up. Now I got to start all over again. Oh, now they don't want to do that freaky shit no more. Yeah? To get head from your wife, you got to pull a gun on a motherfucker. Now they only do it on special occasions. Well, it's your birthday, so I guess I'll fuck your day. They don't do it with no imagination, nothing. Just, mm, mm. Fuck it, girl. I'm going to be back. I'm going to go for a ride. This is some bullshit. Hey, you. Now they got them rules when they get your head. I'm going to do it, but you don't put nothing in my mouth. Well, what the fuck is the point? That should be done backed up on me, then I got to go to the goddamn doctor. <laughs> you ever do it anyway? <laughs> you were supposed to tell me. I was trying, baby girl. Now, now come on. Let's go wash your eye out. You nasty motherfucker. Putting that shit in my mouth. Now give me a kiss. You must be out your fucking mind. We ain't kissing no more this week. I know where your mouth being nasty at. It's yours. <laughs> well, it's yours now. Now they got all this bullshit. You can't be no player no more. All that caller ID and star 69. Shit, I, I put rotary phones back in my goddamn house. Star 69, a motherfucker with that. <laughs> you think you slick, don't you, motherfucker? You ever fuck around, come too quick, try to pretend like you didn't? Fuck you, I ain't the only man did that. <laughs> what are you doing? Nothing! I was having a seizure. <laughs> Everybody knows seizures make you sleepy. <laughs> you ain't shit! Yeah, but I ain't horny no more either. You could have came just like I did. You fucking around with that foreplay bullshit. I'm a player from the factory, that's why I got right to the point. Besides, girl, I just want to knock that first one out the way. Now I'm going to tear that ass up. You don't, you don't know who you fucking with, girl. I'm going to work you. <sighs> Is it morning already? Yes, you selfish motherfucker. I know we hard on y'all, but y'all don't make it easy on yourself asking them dumbass questions y'all always ask. How come you don't like to take a shower with me? Because I hate to be at the back of the fucking shower freezing to death. That's why. It ain't your job to block all the hot water. You warm because you in the front. I'm in the back with pajamas on. How come you don't hold me when we finish making love? Because it's hot. Move. Why you always make me sleep in the wet spot? Because it's your side. Ain't that your side right there? Well, why you fucking with me? That's your side. Why you always make me go get the wash rag, girl? I don't need no wash rag. My nuts can air dry. Don't act like it's just me, fuck y'all. You ever leave that wash rag on a nightstand? <laughs> it dry up on your ass. Your kids coming in your wash rag on a nightstand. Give me that goddamn wash rag, get the fuck out of my room. You ever notice the freaky the shit you done done the night before, the harder it is to find your drawers the next morning? You done done some freaky shit they ain't never by the side of the bed where they usually at. They, they roll up in the cover some goddamn way. You hunting all around the house. What the fuck they doing in the ceiling fan? You don't want one to play helicopter, man. And hurry up and get my panties down for them kids come up in here. You ever get a cramp in your leg when you fucking? You don't want to tell nobody? You trying to stretch? Ooh, ooh. Is it good to show this? You gonna have to hold your own goddamn legs up. See, women change after they have kids. They have kids, you ain't fucking no more till the kids go to sleep. Wait till the kids sleep. Is the door locked? Them kids sleep? Kids know you wanna fuck, they never care their ass to sleep. They stay up late drinking coffee, taking no dough. We ain't sleep yet. And you ain't fooling nobody with that Barney tape. We can hear you in the room anyway. I love you, uh, uh, uh. You love me, who pussy is it? That ain't how the song go. 
Yo, got me kicked out of kindergarten singing the wrong song. Because a woman's biggest fear is that their kids gonna catch them fucking. Hard to explain to your child how come mama ass was in there with honey on it. <laughs> That'll fuck them up in school. <laughs> you can't do no math with that shit on your mind. What's wrong, little Johnny? Oh, that's y'all, sir. But I left home. My mama had honey all over her ass. And one day your kids all gonna catch you fucking. That's the way of the world. One day you're gonna forget that lock that door. It's gonna creak open on your ass. <laughs> I'ma call my grandmama. Grandmama, daddy keep going up and down on mama. He's hurting her. I heard her screaming for Jesus in the hallway. You did it up, my mama. Yep, kids will fuck up the fucking. And I got two ki three kids, two girls and one little boy. What is it about little boys? They don't even try to wipe their ass. Just shit and get up. Daddy, I'm finished! Son, you ain't gonna try to wipe your ass. Well, you gonna be an itchy ass motherfucker. Always walk around, my booty itch. Cause it's chuck full of shit, son. Won't wipe the ass, all you wanna have draws with superheroes on them. Power Rangers be shitty in the motherfucker. I shouldn't talk about little boys cause they grow up and become men. And every man in here done had a shitty day. Oh, don't act like it's just me. You know that day you ain't wipe your ass good as you thought you did. You take them drawers off, hoo hoo! She ain't about to see these motherfuckers. You can tell when she find them, what is this? You know what the fuck them is, give me my goddamn drawers. I don't know what women laugh at, like y'all don't ever do no nasty shit. Y'all don't ever leave no panties soaking in the sink. That's the nastiest shit in the world. Would you move these motherfuckers? I like to brush my goddamn teeth. They don't never soak the sexy panties. Just the big ass period panties, doesn't it? You know what I'm talking about, the panties go from here to here. You think it's a goddamn pillowcase in the sink. And women, look here, all this shit ain't for y'all. Edible panties was not meant for each and every one of y'all. Some of y'all got entirely too much ass. Ain't no way in hell you can finish all them drawers. They get mad, you ain't gonna finish, girl, I'm full now, shit. Give me a doggy bag, I'll carry it to work with me tomorrow. <laughs> These kids don't know how good they got it. I mean, we used to get our ass whooped for everything. Remember that? You get your ass whooped. Remember getting when your ass whooped with extension cords? You come home, some shit was unplugged, you knew somebody getting fucked up, huh? <laughs> the TV don't work! <laughs> Mama mad about something. I told you to clean the room! Remember that one ass whooping you got to try to grab a belt? <laughs> Let go of that goddamn belt. I can't, I can't. The Bible says just hold on a little longer. And that's just what the fuck I'm gonna do. Remember your mama be in the front room talking shit to you? You be in your bedroom talking shit right back. Just low enough so she can't hear you. You make me sick, you make me sick, you make me sick. I ought to come back there and slap fire from your little ass. I wish you would. I wish you would. Here she come. How does she keep hearing me? She don't ever hear me when I ask for shit. You get your ass whipped so good, take you three days to slap crime. <laughs> Shut up before I give you something to cry about. What the fuck did you just do? I wasn't crying for your ass walked up in here. Every time you got your ass whooped, you always had to go somewhere. Now get in the car. I, I, I don't want to go. Did I ask you if you wanted to go? Get in that car, I'll fuck you up, I swear to God. Then you go to your grandmother's house, try to tell her what happened. What happened? I, I can't tell you. She'll fuck me up again. Here she comes. Tell Big Mama what you want her to do. <laughs> fuck her up, Big Mama, fuck her up. <laughs> she be talking shit about you too. <laughs> Here she come. You can't even whoop these kids nowadays. They call the child abuse people on your ass. 
We was growing up, we never called a child abuse people in our mama. Because they didn't put the number on TV. Because if they would, I'd have made a call every day. <laughs> Somebody about to get fucked up. How you know? It's a dot of his tip. I gotta go. Can't y'all trace this call? Here she comes. I remember when nobody's daddy had to go to church. Remember that? How come he ain't got to go? Because he a heathen, that's why he ain't got to go. Well, I'm going to be a heathen when I grow up. If you don't get your ass in that car, I will fuck you up. I swear to God. You got me cussing like this. No, I'm saved too. Shit. If, if you cost me a trip to heaven, I will kick your ass. I swear to God. I'm sorry, Jesus, but you know how this motherfucker is. Get your ass in there. Kids these days ain't got it like that, man. I remember kids. See, I moved around white folk about two years ago, and white folk make the best, best fucking neighbors because they'll watch your house whether you want them to or not. Every time you come outside, what's going on? They'll call the police in a minute, too. I didn't know who it was, so I called the police. This step was my father. Now he in jail. You know he got warrants. Stay the fuck out of my goddamn business. See, white folk love animals, too. White folk love a dog. You know, white folk get up 5.30 in the morning and walk a fucking dog. Dog living so good, he don't even got to be on the leash. He don't even try to get away. Sit. You goddamn right, I'm going to sit. Shit. Black folk ain't got that kind of luck with dogs, huh? Shit, if a brother opened the gate, he ain't got no dog no more. Be a loose dog with a broke off chain. Hell no, I ain't coming back. I can hunt more food than y'all feed me. Fuck y'all. Because black dogs spend their whole life chained up to the clothesline. Huh? <laughs> this some bullshit here, man. I done seen black folk pull guns on dogs. And the dog know it's a gun, too. <gasps> that motherfucker done got a gun. Let me sit down before he pop a cap in me, that crazy. White folk take their dog to the vet for a checkup. Bosco's not feeling good. Come on, Bosco. Let's go get checked out. Fuck you know if a dog feel good or not. Black folk don't know no shit like that. We know if he dead or if he alive. If he come when you call him, he must be all right. A black dog could get hit by a truck. He still ain't going to. Come over here and eat some of this grass. You only see three-legged dogs in black folk neighborhood. These motherfuckers see me get hit by that goddamn... Oh shit, that motherfucker got that gun again. It's some bullshit. You know, dogs hate to see black folk walking into the pet store. <gasps> Here they come! Pretend like you did. Because black folk dogs live by black folk rules. We ain't eating, you ain't eating. We laid off, your ass laid off. Silliest shit I ever see white folks do, they know their dog's gonna die, they take them to the vet and get them put to sleep. I, I can't watch them suffering, suffering so much. Shit, if we know our dog's gonna die anyway, we just take them for a ride, don't we? You sick in the motherfucker, ain't you, boy? Come on, get in the car. Dog, know something wrong. <laughs> I'll be all right, look, I'm fine. I ain't gonna cost no more, I swear to God. Oh, that motherfucker got that gun again. <laughs> They got pet cemeteries, too. A place you pay to bury a pet. I know a woman paid to bury a fish. Black folk will flush a fish so goddamn fast. Fish ain't even got to be all the way there. Wait a minute! I'm not dead yet. And we fuck over any kind of pet. You ever go over brother house, fish tank just green and a motherfucker. Fish swimming around with a flashlight. <laughs> that motherfucker got a gun again. It's some bullshit. You ever get letters from your people in jail? What make a motherfucker go to jail, start using words he ain't never used when he was out? Go to jail and become a fucking poet. Since I have been incarcerated, I have realized that I'm in jail. Seeing them fucking jail pictures with the jail poles. Y'all know the goddamn jail poles. Don't Y'all know the fucking jail poles. Hey, Chapel Hill, I'm gonna holler at you later. Thank you now. Peace and love. Thank you. I just wanna make sure y'all ass with me. Don't sit out here and just all of a sudden act like y'all ass just it. <laughs> y'all doing? Hey, ladies. So 
Oh, look at nice. Player, ain't, ain't nobody tell you where you was coming tonight? Motherfucker, you just dressed for the picnic, motherfucker? The fuck is you going? Your old ass sitting up in here with some shorts and shit on. Motherfucker, like you been outside plowing all goddamn day. Well, I done just got through plowing. Might as well go on down, see the Kangs. Don't you come see us no more with that shit on. Look, you see, look at everybody else in here. Look how nice these people look. You brought your ass in here with all that bullshit on. Well, I shouldn't even say that, bro. That may be all. I apologize. Never know. You know, maybe God didn't quit blessing you. I don't know. You never know. Sometimes God just shut you off. You know, you ain't been living right. Sometimes God just go, you're on your own. Maybe that's what happened. You, done, you been doing a lot of wrong lately or something, player? Selling dope, something like that. Got your ass caught last summer. Been in the whole winter. Got out, ain't have shit except what you wore in. <laughs> I'm just messing with you, dog. He a real bro, too. That motherfucker, they ain't play. <laughs> you knew I was in your ass, too, didn't you? Because you hadn't got up and slapped five. Boy, I'd be doing your ass all night long. I ain't got no problem with it. Shit. I hold Showtime at the Apollo. I roast your ass all night long. I don't give a damn. Shit, this Steve Harvey, boy. I'm telling y'all. Y'all in for a treat tonight, y'all. I'm telling you, the kings of comedy consist of four of the baddest ticket selling brothers in the country today. Oh, uh, you might have some mo cats out there, but goddammit, they ain't coming to Chapel Hill. Chris Tucker ain't coming. Martin Lawrence ain't coming. Arsenio Hart, well, fuck if he don't come. I don't nobody give a shit. But goddammit, they ain't here. The Kings is here. So if you ready for the rest of the show to get started, everybody see, yeah. I say everybody see yeah. Type of shit it is. Cut the motherfucker off me, cut the motherfucker off. Stupid son of a bitch. What well, damn it the hell? Don't hide your motherfucking relative. That's my wife cousin. I can't get rid of that motherfucker. Back in summer, my bitch. I can't stand no homosexual. In any in, in, in house, fuck you, I'm sorry. I can't stand no homosexual. Sucking dick and shit. What the fuck wrong? That shit ain't right. You ain't supposed to suck no dick after breakfast. That shit ain't right. I sure got a taste for a dick. God, they gonna, God gonna choke the shit out your way and keep sucking the goddamn dick. And women buffing pussies now. I don't know what the fuck is going on with that. Women like more pussy than me. Well, that shit making me feel so unnecessary. Just rubbing, just starting fires. Type of shit is this. Don't make no motherfucking sense. My, my, my cousin Leslie. I knew, you know, you can tell motherfuckers gonna be who they gonna be when they little. You knew Michael on Good Time was a fag when he was singing in that contest. When you're young. I said, that motherfucker a fag. He gonna be a sister. Did you see it? When he did that shit, I said, he gonna be a sister. Some of my bitch. Sisters like me, man. That's, I ain't mad at sisters, but one was afraid with me on the motherfucking plane. What type of shit is this? Are you comfortable? You got that right up, huh? I'm in my seat. You in your motherfucking seat. So I'm comfortable. You like um, grapes? Not your motherfucking grapes. Get you. Can't stand no homosexual. My wife cousin homosexual. He stay with us. He ain't no problem. You know, he ain't no problem. But every time the doorbell ring, he want to come down and answer, you know. I guess the sound of ding dong do something to this motherfucker. <laughs> you know, ding dong, that motherfucker, he want no shaking, motherfucker, you know. 
Some of them are bitch. I just tell like it is. I'm tired. I'm tired of begging. Mother, you tired of motherfucker begging? Hit me out. Hook me up. Look out for me. Loan me a quarter. Motherfucker, fuck you. You know? Mother came to me the other day, man. I'm hungry in the motherfucker, man. Can you help me out? I said, help you do what? He said, I ain't eat in three weeks. I said, don't worry about it. It still tastes the same. Don't worry about it. You won't eat tonight, motherfucker. You won't eat tonight. Ah, right, man, let me be present. I'll be the evil son of a bitch present you ever seen in your motherfucking life. Good, good morning, motherfucker, America. Good morning. Welfare, some of my bitches. I'm cutting your punk ass off. Begging me all the goddamn time. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it, man. I'm tired of church. I'm tired of funerals. Funerals make me sick. Black funerals make me fucking sick. Because they're full of shit. White funerals don't go through no bullshit. Black funerals, we go through pure de hell. Three days of watching a dead motherfucker. White people are half an hour. They close a coffin on your head. White funerals, man, it be just be bright white sheet. The coffin be sitting up there, be the organ. Oh, Heavenly Father. Oh, Lord. Shit be over with. I should be three fucking days. The funeral parlor be dark to the summer, bitch. Soon as he die, we gotta take some clothes down to this motherfucker, like he going out. Take this down to your uncle, see if it fit him. Who gonna give a fuck? Who gonna notice who fit this motherfucker? If the arm is up here, who gonna give a fuck? Close the coffin on that son of my bitch. Then you gotta sit there. Black folks so love funerals because they wanna hear you explain how the motherfucker died. But this motherfucker, they want you to keep telling them, how, you, how you find them? Girl, I was rolling my hair and I heard a thump. I came downstairs and he was laying up there. I knew he was dead. I knew he was dead. That's when I called 11 9. I said, Hurry up and come get this motherfucker. He was dead. Cause I was rolling my hair and I heard a thump. And I knew he was dead. He was laying up there. And they always got ripped up. You came down there when you, when you heard him fall. I heard a thump. That's probably when he was calling for help. He had a heart attack then, didn't he? Lord, Lord, at least she, at least she gone. Uh, and black folks always got some stupid shit to say when a motherfucker died. He died in his sleep. He didn't feel nothing. How the fuck you know what the fuck he felt? Like you done died in your sleep a couple of times. Stupid bitch. Motherfucker, did they, did they say, he sure look good. You was a motherfucking liar. And a dead son bitch that ever look good to me. Who the fuck you looking at? Didn't they say he don't look like himself? He ain't supposed to look like his goddamn self. Hold your brother, see how the fuck you? Stupid son of a I can't stand a dumb motherfucker, man. I swear I can't, man. Me and dumb people just don't get along, man. Black funeral full of shit. Then you gotta come there, man, sitting there, some bitch, man. I swear for the Lord, when you be at the black funeral, don't look like that motherfucker be breathing sometimes. All you see is the head sticking out that coffin. And I swear sometimes you see some shit like this here. I mean, that motherfucker breathing, man. I told my brother, I said, man, me and my brother look doing like this watching that motherfucker. That motherfucker breathing, man. I went up to the coffin, they always want to make you go up there and see. We didn't always get the line, the wait. Everybody got to walk up. There's always one motherfucker can't take it. And that bitch will get halfway to the coffin, then gonna have a fit. What the fuck you doing here? 
If you can't take it, sit your ass down. Man, this woman walked up to this coffin man three times. First time she walked out, she fell the fuck out. Everybody picked her big ass up, took out. They revived that whole backstage. She came back up again, out of breath, fell the fuck out. They picked up, revived her again. She came back the third time. I met her halfway, I said, bitch, fall out of motherfucking again up in this place. I'm gonna stomp the shit out your ass. Sit your punk ass down. That old bullshit. And black ministers make me sick. I'm telling you too. Black ministers, I never could I, I grew up in the damn church. All black ministers talk the fuck the same. What's what, 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 like it's a school? <laughs> what the fuck is somebody? What the fuck is somebody? Why we just can't go and read the Bible like we supposed to read? Thou said art to Genesis, come thou therefore and let us meditate as one. Why you just can't read shit like that? We got to do some old African ass shit. Oh, ah, uh, Moses came and down the mountain uh, and sat around uh, ah. What the fuck so sick of that? Ah. Man, if you don't sit your punk ass down, I'm tired of shit. I don't know what the fuck he be saying. Then if you gonna sit up there, man, you gonna send this old fat heifer up to sing a song. Don't nobody know this heifer. The family don't know. The funeral parlor people don't know. And she gonna come sing a song. She always wanna sing one of those old ass church songs. Cause she wanna fuck with the family. She won't make the deceased family cry. She won't make it cry on purpose. She won't fuck with your heart, your, your cousin, your auntie, your brother laying up there. Now she gonna come sing some slow shit to fuck with your heart. Oh, big fat motherfucker. We gonna have a A selection from a Sarah. Sarah. Ah. And here come this bitch. First, give it honor to God, the pastor, members, and friends. I'm so happy to be here this evening. Hallelujah, hallelujah, praise his holy name. Hallelujah. I'm going to sing a selection now. What the fuck is that? Precious Lord. Now, it's an old ass song. She going to sing this shit and look dead at the front row. Because she want to make you cry. Bear with me, I just got out the hospital. I'm kind of hoarse. <clears throat> Praise. <laughs> just the Lord. Take my hand. what you trying to fuck with you right there. Yeah, bitch, if you don't sing that song and shut the fuck up. Why are you singing to me and looking at me like that? Making me feel like I'm next and shit. That's why I don't like no funeral. Man, I ain't having no funeral. If something happened to me, fuck a funeral. I wish I could just stage a fucking funeral, you know, like I'm dead. Don't be dead for real. Just announce that Bernie Mac died. So I could see the no good summer bitches to come to my funeral. I'll be laying in the coffin playing like I'm dead, but I ain't dead. So 
So when a mother walk past my coffin, I don't like I raise up and cuss they punk ass out. I'll be laying just like this here. If a motherfucker walk past I don't like, fuck you doing in my goddamn film. Get your punk ass out of here, bitch! Oh, don't let somebody walk past my coffin and owe me some money. That's when I grab their hand and arm and shit. Oh, hell no! You got my goddamn money? Oh! You know that scared the shit out of me, mother. Man, you know I'm stupid. I be doing that shit. I'm a comedian. I ain't well. I fuck with my wife like that. You know, I be playing dead in the house and shit, you know. For real. They be, they be get up early in the morning, and you know, they get up, and I be laying in the bed. They be, Bernie? Bernie? Always three calls. That last one gonna be a holler. Just lay there. Man, I be doing. I'm stupid. I'm stupid, some bitch boy. I ain't well. I'll fuck over some bitch man. Cause I'm a practical joker. I went to the doctor the other day, man, for a checkup. And every time I go to this doctor, man, this is old old lady in there. She evil than some bitch. Evil. Just be talking to people any kind of motherfucking wish want to talk to somebody. You know, sign your name there and sit the fuck down. I'll be like, who you talking to? Talking to you, motherfucker. I said, I'm talking to you. You know, next kind of shit. I said, I'm gonna get this bitch here. I'm gonna get this bitch. She gonna give me a little cup. You know, every time they get a cup to piss in, I can't piss in it. You know what I mean? That ever happened to you? I can't, I be saving urine, but I can't never piss in that son bitch. She gonna tell me, piss in the cup and hurry up and sit it here. I told my brother, I said, give me a dollar, right? Give me a dollar. I put a dollar in that pop machine. I got an apple juice. I poured it in the cup. I came, she was on the telephone. She said, sit it down. I sit it right there. I stood there. She got off the phone. That's your, that's your urine cup? Let me see. I said, yeah, this is mine. That motherfucker fell out. I ain't lying. Fuck her. Hey, man, I, hey, I tell the truth. Man, everybody in this fucking room is human. Everybody in here do stupid shit. I see you digging in your nose when you be driving. I see you digging all in your motherfucking nose when you be driving, you nasty motherfucker, you. Be at a red light, keep your mouth closed when you do it, something, bitches. You ever see me at a red light? Fuck you looking at it, ho. Then they, they, they look at it, what the, what the fuck is this shit here? I pull up on some bitch, blow the horn, did you get it? Now, where you gonna put it, you nasty bastard? Oh, you see a son, bitch, man. I'll tell you like it is. You know I ain't lying. Kids, man, that's why I like kids. Because grown ups ain't nothing but some big ass, big ass kids. Little kids ain't nothing but some little ass fucking adult. I like to be some kids, because they tell the truth. They tell the truth. Go see Auntie. Oh, she stinks. <laughs> you be playing like ain't nothing wrong. You know that bitch sour. Your auntie come right. That bitch stale like a son, bitch. You know she's stale, but you don't want to say nothing. Little kids tell the truth. So I believe in little kids, and I believe in whooping ass. Whooping ass keep you honest, boy. A, whoop, a good ass whooping will change your own motherfucking mind. Don't do that shit no more. What? Don't do that, motherfucker. Found a motherfucker. Found a son, bitch. See what the fuck it do. See, white folks discuss shit. Let's sit down and talk about it. We don't know how to talk about nothing. We ain't never had no discussions. White folks will tell, man, you lose a job, they come home, they explain to you, honey, I lost my job. God damn it, but we're gonna stick together, we're gonna fucking make it. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna work hard. I'm getting up first thing in the fucking morning, I'm gonna find some employment. I swear to God, I'm not gonna let your fucking ass down. We lose our job, we walk the street all fucking night. How you gonna come home and tell a black woman you ain't got no money? You trying to think of a lie. I'm gonna tell this bitch I done got five. Cause soon as you come in, a black woman gonna discourage you. Baby, what the fuck is it? Something I'm gonna tell you. 
How you gonna tell somebody you broke looking at your ass all like this here? Yeah, well, me and my wife have, man, see, I've been married 25 years, boy, I'm telling you the truth. See, now me and my wife, see, that's, yeah, Her Hercules, Hercules. Yeah, yeah Hercules. That motherfucker my friend now, but she wasn't always my friend. That heifer used to get on my motherfucking nerve, boy. I hit my wife one time in my life, I swear to God. I'm only human, I ain't ashamed to tell you, I knocked the fuck out of her. She kept fucking with me. I told her, go and see my wife, 25 years, she ain't never think I'd tag her ass, you know. But you know, she took advantage of be bumping all on me, all like this here and shit. You know, I told her, quit, quit fucking with me, you know. You know, cause my wife like to follow you around the house, keep up shit, she a shit keep up. You know, I didn't put no gas in the car, she wanna bitch all night. Why you put no motherfucker, I forgot. You, you don't forget to put none in yours, so I told you I forgot, I go put some now. I don't want you to do a motherfucking thing for me. You know, then I go down, I ain't gonna argue with you, don't argue, motherfucker, don't argue. I go in the basement, 15 minutes, she come in the basement. Black motherfucker couldn't put no gas in the motherfucker. Fuck you fucking with me for, cause I can, motherfucker, you know. I said, keep on, this you want, you know, when you remember you look little kid, when little kid be, be mimicking one another, everything you say, another little kid, they mark you, stop it, stop it. Quit, quit, go on, go on. That shit used to aggravate the fuck out you, remember that? My wife be doing that old square shit all the time, you know. Quit, quit. Quit playing, you quit playing. Play too much, you play too much. All right, all right. It's a girl, boy. <laughs> Say something else, something else. No, that shit get you fucked up, man. My wife be doing that bullshit, man. Then I go upstairs, she come upstairs. I said, quit fucking with me. You fucking with nobody fucking with you. Ain't nobody fucking like she's singing a song. Ain't nobody fucking with you. Ain't nobody fuck, fuck, fuck. Ain't nobody fucking with you. Man, I knocked the fuck out of her, man. She came up on me all strong. I said, get up off me. I said, I'm gonna ask you one more motherfucking time. Get up off me. I said, I cleft for law. I cleft for law. She said, what you gonna do to me? What you? Before I knew it, and it must have felt good because I hopped, you know. I didn't mean to. But when I tagged that motherfucker, there, I swear to God, man, I backed up off her punk ass, you know. And I, I, I thought something came out of my mouth, you know. I'm not sure. I thought I heard Biatch, you know. <laughs> Boy, she didn't speak to me for three days. That's when the punk came out, because I didn't mean to do it. I said, Girl, you know, I'm sorry. She said, <laughs> when they give you that face and don't no tears come out, you done fucked up. <laughs> long as you don't, long as they don't talk, they ain't gonna cry. But if they start talking, they gonna cry. I said, I'm sorry. She said, If she talked, that's what you going to hear. She didn't say shit for three days. I was nervous. I brought flowers, candy, I cooked. Didn't do no motherfucking good. I made me some bath water, sat in the tub. I figured, we're going to do the pussy, you know. I'm going to make up to her, you know. Shit, I'm in the tub, butt naked, bubbles. All of a sudden, the door opened ever so slowly. And she walked in. And I look. And you know you scared because your voice changed, you know. Oh, I'm sorry. What, what, what you do? What, 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 everything all right? You, you okay? I, uh, well, why won't you say something then? You nervous? She said, didn't I tell you don't never fucking hit me? I said, ain't nobody, ain't nobody mean to hit you. You, you, you was all up on them, motherfucker. You know, you were playing too. You were playing too. You scared, boy. 
When you start acting like a little bitch, I said, you, you came up on, you, you, you was all up on me. You, you was all up on me. You was all up on me. All up in here, you was all up in there. She said, I told you, motherfucker, don't ever hit me, did I? Did not tell you, motherfucker, hit me no more. Man, she pulled a pot. I looked. She threw that motherfucking pot. That shit was like burning fire. Water was all on the floor. I was kicking like a bitch. Water was every motherfucker. She looked at me and she said, I told you I'll fuck you up anytime I want and close the fucking door. I sat in that damn tub, man. My motherfucking ass was scared to the sun, bitch. I sat in that tub for two fucking hours. That ain't the problem. When that water hit me, y'all, I swear to God, it felt like it was hot like fire. But there wasn't no hot water she threw on me. It was cold water. See, now she fucking with my mind. You dirty son of my bitch. I sat in that damn tub for two hours. When I came out, I looked both ways before I come out. I was nervous, and if I don't tell me you ain't gonna be nervous, you don't know what the fuck is scared of shit out of you. Women, for some reason, scared the fuck out of you. Me and you wrestle all day, because psychologically you prepare for a man. But something about a woman, when you make, when you fall out, she don't speak to you for two or three weeks. You know, you, you dick hard, pus coming out that motherfucker, you know. You want some pussy so bad, but don't nobody want to be the first one to make up, you know. But if you make up, you're a punk, you see. Both of y'all laying in the bed, she's sitting, she's sleeping way over there, you sleeping way over here, you know. And you trying to scoot over. And then the next day, dick harder, mother, you know. But she wants something too, her titties sticking out, you know what I mean? You see her in the bed, fucking herself in her sleep, you know. She wants something too. Walk around the house with a panty with one side getting the crack of her ass. <laughs> Women some dirty motherfuckers, you know what I mean? They walk around one titty out. <laughs> you sitting there, ain't nobody saying they want some, but everybody wants some. Oh, it's a trip, man. We all in here human, we all do the same thing. All sex, we all do the fucking same thing. All sex, you all like it, we like it, but y'all don't like to give it. That's the problem I got with black women. Y'all some selfish motherfuckers, you know what I mean? Y'all act like y'all in a fucking no-suck union or something. You gotta start sucking some dick, boy. Ain't nothing wrong with a good sucker. Good, good dick is hard to come by, man, you know what I mean? I ain't had no good head all in years. Every time I think about it, I get dizzy, you know? You know, I'm telling you the truth. You ask a woman, man, ask my wife to suck my dick the other day. My wife don't suck no dick. When I first married, she used to suck shit out the dick, you know? Man, now she don't suck no dick like she's selfish. You know, when your woman, when you get your woman and she get your head, don't stop her. Let her keep doing it. That's what keep the marriage tight and right. When you let her stop, that's when the shit go down. Suck it. Suck it. <laughs> and you better not bite it. You bite it, I'll choke the shit at you. If she bite, me and know we talk some shit, you do your body, I'll bust you up, you ain't gonna do shit. She bite your dick, you go, scream like a bitch. <laughs> man, I'll tell you the truth, man, I, I, I gotta do what I gotta do, man, you know, I'm old now, I'm old. I'm, I'm, I, I, I've tried all sex now, I kinda like it, I ain't used to like it. Cause I didn't like the, uh, the aftermath, you know, cause it used to leave a scent. <laughs> now I know how to do it, I don't get all fucked up, cause see, I put my arm up in there. You gotta know what you're doing. You gotta put your arm up in there. You gotta put your arm up in there. Protect yourself. Put your arm up there. You put your arm up in there. Watch how I put my in slow mode. What? You put your arm up in there and you lock it. And that's when you do your business. Pay attention. You learn something. I'm telling you. Put your arm up in there. Watch how I lock it. You put your arm up in there and you lock it. That's when you, you, they be trying to run out there. But every time they try to run, you lock it. 
They might pull you if they strong. They got some things they strong. They might pull you. You might get a rash on your elbow or your knee. Boy, but it, man, I'm telling you, kill them. Boy, you know how you know you know when you do get a good head when they lay there and they weak. You just go by and blow. <laughs> they start there talking to them. <laughs> I be doing shit on purpose. <sighs> Who you trying to kill me? You trying to kill me? I'm telling you like it is. World fucked up. You gotta have fun. All this shit is jokes, man. The world is fucked up. Everybody jealous of everybody. Lizards jealous of frogs. It's fucked up. Everybody jealous of one another. I had a woman, man. I I had a woman my life. Man. She had one breast. I ain't into that superficial shit no more. I'm into the person. She had one breast, man, one titty. Man, did me well. Cause I ain't have to suck both of them, you know? I sucked one titty. I concentrate on one titty. I, I sucked the milk out that one titty. You know what kind of milk it was? Half and half. Good night, y'all. Peace, y'all. <laughs> I'm just out here tripping. I'm trying to stretch the show out far as it'll go. I done drove around this raggedy motherfucking town, trust me. We need to stay in here as long as we can. I ain't no goddamn college student. I don't like going bar hopping and shit. That's all down here. Bunch of white folks running around drunk. Oh, I'm glad I don't stay down here. I be done whoop so many white folk ass, it ain't even funny. I jumped the fuck on you driving around me drunk. Hey, guy, what's going on? Get the fuck out of my face. Y'all ready for the second half of the show? Come on now, y'all do better than that. Y'all ready for the second half of the show? Shit. This Steve Harvey is sad to entertain a half right here. This when the shit get good, you all right? Picnic, you all right? You all right, player? You all right? <laughs> I changed for you, dog, just to give you a sample. <laughs> I'm just bullshitting. I trip right there. A lot of times, though, you know what, man? I, I do want to say this on behalf to something that might help y'all out. And this is for everybody. When y'all meet celebrities and athletes, can I, can I share something with y'all? When you walk up to their ass, don't walk up to them like they God Almighty. Them people ain't all that. We ain't no different from you. Don't ever give nobody that much domain over yourself. You God's child just like we God's child. You don't feel stank about yourself because you, look, the only difference between me and you is I'm on TV, your ass ain't. That's really the only difference. We got the same problems. You got bills, I got bills. Bill collector call your house, bill collector call my house. You think because I might have a little bitch, you think motherfuckers call my house because I got the same philosophy about my money you got about your money. Yeah, I got it. I just ain't sending it to fuck in. Damn, you damn right. My philosophy is I buy everything I want, everything I think I want, and if I got something left, I might send your ass a payment. A lot of y'all be tripping with these bill collectors, letting them twist you all up, make you feel funky, calling your job and shit. Put a stop to that. Get in they ass, cause you got some information they ain't got. You the only one know whether you sending that motherfucking payment or not. They ass is in the dark. And you gotta know how to handle them when they call your house. When they call your house, handle they ass. See, I know what to say. They don't like calling Steve Harvey house, cause I gets off in they ass. You don't call me, you know they ask the same questions every time they call, you just got to know what to say. One of them gonna call my house the other day talking about, ah! <laughs> Mr. Harvey! Listen, uh, when can we expect payment? Hell, you can always expect it. <laughs> the motherfucker getting it's gonna be your goddamn problem. And that's how you handle their ass. So let me tell you something. When you meet celebrities and athletes, they ain't nothing going through nothing in their life that you ain't going through your. And don't prop their ass up. Especially women. Y'all run up to these men every time you see them. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And you be with your man. Running up to that, I wish my woman would run up to a motherfucker and I'm standing right here. She come talking about some, ooh, 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 that's Michael Jordan. Man, fuck Michael Jordan. I trip your motherfucking ass. Michael Jordan. <laughs> Michael Jordan ain't paying for the goddamn house we living in. Mike ain't bought you no fur coat. Now get your stink ass up and come on. 
sitting up here hollering by some Michael Jordan. See, a lot of people, you misjudge athletes and celebrities. You think they ass done had it going on all their life. That ain't how it is. People kill me when they come up to me with that. Man, you just got it going on. Y'all, let me tell you something about myself. I'm 42 years old. I've been po 38 of them years. I ain't lying. I just got some money summer for last. I'm going to tell you right now, I'm so goddamn happy to have some money, I don't know what the fuck to do sometime. Because I don't know about you, but that post shit was wearing my ass out. You ever get tired of being po? You ever get tired of being po? You ever wake up some morning and just go, God damn, another po ass day. Because there's some struggles. See, I think everybody in this room done struggled include myself. Everybody in this room then went through the raggedy car stage. <laughs> Some of y'all ain't clapping cause that motherfucker out in the parking lot. <laughs> but don't worry about it cause that new car coming. Cause let me tell you something. You got to go through the raggedy car stage in order to appreciate the new car. See, your ass ain't happy with a new car until you done had a whole lot of raggedy-ass cars. I'm telling you, Steve Harvey done had some raggedy-ass cars. And don't think that I'm no different than you. When I get something new, I feel just like you do when you get some new shit. You know how it is when you get that first new car and you've been driving some raggedy shit all your life? What you do when you get a new car when you get out the parking lot? How you do? What you shut the door? see who saw you get out of it. Because that goddamn car means something to you. You know why? Because you done had some raggedy ass cars. Oh, I done had some raggedy ass cars. A lot of y'all can relate to what I'm talking about right now. Some of y'all, you ever had that car? I done had, Lord. You ever had that car so raggedy? How many of y'all had that car? The one that when you cut it off, the motherfucker don't cut off. It's over in the parking lot having a seizure. You try to walk away from it, act like it ain't yours. And right before you get in the mall, somebody always stop you. Say, player, hey, player, you left your car running over there. No, nah, man, the motherfucker's off. Oh, no, nah, player, your car's still running. I said the motherfucker's off. No, nah, no, nah, dog, your shit's still shaking. Look, the motherfucker's off. You ever had that dough? You didn't know whether it was gonna open or not. I had four of them goddamn doors. You know what that's like to meet a girl in the mall and come out to your car and not know if that some bitch gonna open? Shit, I had a car so raggedy one time. Police gonna pull me over one night. I'm driving along, it's dark outside. He gonna pull me over, he come talking about. He come up to the car, I say, I, What's the problem, officer? He said, the tent on your windows ain't legal. I said, excuse me? He said, the tent on your windows ain't legal. Motherfucker, that ain't tent. That's a hefty bag. Motherfucker. You see all that duct tape around that son of a bitch? What would I duct tape a goddamn window up for? And get your nightstick away from it before you punch a hole in that son of a bitch. God damn it, I'll freeze to death in this motherfucker. Get away from the goddamn window. God damn. A lot of y'all act like y'all can't feel me on this here. Shit, I'm with y'all's ass. I want to say something too. You know, a lot of times when I'm performing, what I try to do is, I try not to degrade women. I try not to talk up under your dress and talk about my thing and your thing and your body parts and my body parts. I think I'm somebody that's out here for an hour and a half discussing sex and what they gonna do, they don't even really mean that shit. Half the motherfuckers out here talking that shit don't even know what they doing, know how. 
Because I don't know how you figure. You always lying to your woman anyway. I'm going to tear your ass up this evening. How you going to tear her ass up? That woman has had a baby. That thing you talking about tearing up then had eight, nine pounds of flesh come out of it. How your ass? Think you finna tear something to fuck up. You ain't finna tear shit up. Oh, she act like you tearing up. Ah, 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 ah. That's just so your ass can hair up and get through. Her ass got to go to work in the morning. Laying around with your sweaty ass all evening. That's why I never discuss it. Cause I know it ain't no logistics to it. I try to be a little bit more respectful of women. Talking about what I'm gonna do. That's why I never use certain words when I'm out here. So just out of respect to women, I'm gonna ask you a question. I don't want nobody to take offense, but I just want you to answer the question. No offense to nobody in here. By round of applause, how many of you women in here, no offense, <laughs> by round of applause, have managed to keep your weight under 117 pounds? Just clap if you. There's quite a few people clapping in this motherfucker. And no disrespect to any of the other women, this ain't about you. I just want to say to those of you that have managed to keep your weight under 117 that I commend you because that is, it takes an incredible amount of discipline to do that. And I'd also like to say to all of you that when you leave here tonight, if you're under 117 pounds, you need to carry your ass somewhere and get a goddamn sandwich. Cause your bony ass is too goddamn little. Then fell into that bullshit. Thin is in. That's bullshit. Don't know why they're gonna be laying up next to your bony ass. See, you've been looking at all them magazines, Cosmo and Vogue, all them women standing on there, posing, trying to make an ass. Ass looking like a paper cutter. See, you done fell for that slogan that thin is in. See, I used to believe that shit when I was young and foolish my damn self. But as an old school player, I have learned there's a new slogan out, goddammit. Thick is the lick. I'm telling you, ain't nothing a man like more than to put his arm around his woman and discover that there's more to her than he knew. See, that's the shit. A lot of you women up in here, see, y'all think when you thin, that's what's happening. Let me tell you something. When you thin, it's easy for you to get a man, but it's hard for you to keep a man. Oh, I'm telling you. Oh, in the summertime, you the one walking up and down the beach with that little string all up in the crack of your ass. Little booty just on these hands looking all nice and shit. That's summertime, but God damn it, it's winter. And a real man wants some woman that's kicking off some heat. What about to be laying up in bed next to your bony ass all winter long? Your thin ass laying up there looking like a goddamn guardrail. And thin women get on your damn nerves. They make me sick. Every time you try to take them to get something to eat, they don't ever want what you want. You ever took a skinny woman out? No, motherfucker, make me sick. Driving down restaurant row. She don't ever want shit. Say, baby, how about that right there? Mm-mm, no. Well, how about that? Uh-uh, I don't want to eat there. What about that? Uh-uh, they cook with grease. What the fuck is wrong with grease? Some of the best shit I ever ate in my life had grease oozing all out the shit. You ever been to churches and had that two-piece and a biscuit? That big ass thigh to give you the motherfucker look like a ham? You bite into it, grease be running all down your mouth and shit. Talking about I don't cook with grease. What the fuck is you spitting in the skillet? 
Bony heifer make me sick. Then when you go pick their ass up, they ain't ever ready. That's another thing about thin women. See, they think they ass is this shit. They're going to make you wait. I got there. I'm already a little bit late. Now, here your ass ain't ready. Now, you go in the house. They upstairs. They always got four or five kids sitting around. Ain't none of them yours. Motherfuckers climbing all on you, calling you daddy way too early. Motherfucker, get on. I, get motherfucker, I ain't your daddy. Get your get motherfucker, get off me. See, I like thick-ass women because of some problems you ain't got to put up with thick-ass girls. Thick-ass women, see, for starters, I'm finna tell you something now. Thick-ass women, for starters, see, when you go get their ass, you ain't got to worry about them being ready because their ass is waiting on you. God damn it, they sitting out on the porch. Come on, motherfucker, come on. God damn it, you said eight. Where you at, where you at, where you at? Oh, and big girls be thinking of what they gonna order long before they get to the restaurant. Girl, I'm gonna get me some fried cheese sticks. I'm gonna get the stuffed mushroom. I'm gonna get the shrimps dinner. See, that's a thick ass girl. And then when you pick a thick ass girl and pull up in front, you ain't gotta worry about her strolling to the goddamn car. Her ass breaks for that motherfucking ride. God damn it, scoot over, let's go. And when you drive them down restaurant row, I like a woman that get excited when they see their favorite place. Oh, you better not try to drive past a thick girl's favorite restaurant. Shit, I wish you would be driving along and she see it. Oh, shit. Oh, no, you ain't fitting to pass up the goddamn Dunkin' Donuts. I'm Steve Harvey, y'all. Y'all ready for the show to get started? Everybody see, yeah. Everybody see, yeah. Well, y'all, this is the one I've been waiting for. When I introduce people, I usually bring them out with all I got. But this is my special friend. When I started on the Steve Harvey show, they told me that they was going to pick my co-star. I said, no, nah, I'm picking the co-star. They said, well, if we don't pick him, we're going to have a problem. I said, you're damn right, because if you don't give me who I'm asking for, I ain't doing the goddamn show. So they had to give me my man. He is the second host of BET's Comic View. We have been together for nine years. He is also the co-star of the Steve Harvey Show, the number one show on the WB. He's in the house tonight. Y'all put y'all's hands together for my main man, Cedric the Entertainer, baby! What's up? Yo, yo. What's up, noobs? How y'all doing, man? Hold up, player. Dog, oh, taking a picture, you ain't let me know, man. That nigga sitting over here that got a little winter white on. This nigga clean. Shaw, this nigga first day of school clean up here. You see this nigga? <laughs> that nigga be eating ribs all like this. <laughs> what up, dog? How y'all doing, man? Y'all give it up for everybody on the stage. My partner DL, Bernie Max, Steve Hall. He's doing their thing. They thing out here. What up, dog? That nigga Shaw. That nigga got an application. What's up, dog? Yeah, ain't nothing. I just realized today I had to realize, and I'm going to tell y'all so y'all know. I'm a grown ass man. This shit just came to me today because, you know, somebody asked me to do something stupid, you know, on the airplane. Little lady gonna tell me I better buckle up my seatbelt. You, you better buckle it up, what? Look here, lady, I'm a grown ass man. I'm gonna buckle it up when I damn well feel like it. And I did it right then because I ain't want no trouble, you know that. They'll, they'll push you off them damn planes. They don't care about you, man. You know, my little cousin, he like 17. The other day, 17 gonna ask me to run full court basketball. Full court player. 
up, down, back up, back down. Let me tell you something, man. I'm a grown ass man, dog. I can't do that shit no more, man. I can't do that. I'll be tired. I'll be hurt myself, hurt my whole left side, nigga. I'll be out there too. I can't do it like that, man. I was coming, I was listening to the radio when I was coming over here too, tripping off all these little songs that's out. All the little groups breaking up. Drew Hill broke up, they ain't left each other. Ain't nobody together no more. I'm tired of these little whining dudes though. You know, a little 112. We can do it in the shower, I'm assuming. We can do it anywhere. Man, I'm a grown ass man player. I don't need nobody doing all that whining for me like that. I don't do like that. You know? Me them hard singers that sing hard, like Teddy P. Nigga, holler. I like them hollering type singers, dog. Do be smooth. Yeah. Turn off the lights. Light a candle. And if I ass wasn't listening, he hollered. Yeah. Turn them off. mess around with Teddy, you make sure that damn light off. I know that. You ain't gonna be hollering at me like that, man. No, all of them, man, singers have changed. We used to have smooth balladeers, love song people. We don't have smooth balladeers no more. Yeah. Thug balladeers now. Everybody hard. We used to have big, smooth cat like Luther. You know, big Luther, not little Luther. I like big, curl ain't quite right. Luther. It's funny that boy Curl never really took, did it? I, he had all that money. I used to always concern me how his hair never really curled all the way over. Luther be smooth, don't let me hold you tight. You only fall. Luther! Love song, Lady Love It. Now they got hard, nigga be thugs. Nigga be singing a love song like D'Angelo, nigga had be braided. Nigga got a blunt in his hand. Leather jacket on, nigga all snarled up. He be singing a love song though. You're my lady. You're my lady. Get your ass up here, what I tell you? A trip, man. Got all these little groups out here, all these little girl groups got to like uh, TLC. I can't stand them now with that. Cause that little scrub song, see that ain't got on my damn nerves right here, man. Let me tell y'all something. I'm a grown ass man. I can ride with who I feel like. I can ride with somebody. See, we carpooling. I drove last week. Oh, that hanging on the passenger side of your best friend. I got a damn ride. Hey, everybody got to drive now just to prove your ass up somebody. Oh, they know they, they talking about that's the woman anthem song this year, you know. Women, y'all always get an anthem. Yeah, yeah, y'all get one of them, you know, man ain't treating you right, you know, type song. Last year with Tyrone. You know, brother need to talk, call Tyrone. I don't even know Tyrone that good. That what made me mad though, cause she got all sassy player. You know what I'm talking about when she get all, you know, cause I like the song too, till she, you know. Tell him come on, help you pack your shit. <laughs> what? I wish a motherfucker would tell me I gotta go some damn way. I paid the cable, I paid the cable. Well, I ain't going nowhere till the end of the month then, shit. Tyrone will have to be over here till the 30th. <laughs> like, I ain't angry. Go nowhere. I'm petty like that. I'm petty. I'm petty like that. And last year, the year before that, it almost got messed up for y'all because they gave the woman anthem song to Mary J. Blige the year before that. You know, with the waiting to excel, you know, ain't gonna cry. And Mary almost blew it because, well, you know, Mary. I mean, y'all know, you know Mary. You know, I love Mary too, but you know Mary. She don't, she don't say all the words real good. That's all. I, I ain't, 
I ain't trying to talk about her, because we all know somebody. All us in here know people. You know, that might say amber lamps. Or down the street. Or I want some jumbo strimps. Or my thoke is hurting, it seems like I'm getting a sore thoke. That ain't what I'm talking about. You know, they, they ain't on no record. That's all I'm saying. Mary all on the record, can't say words real good, you know. And she was trying, you know, because she meant it, you know, in her heart. She was, mm -hmm. I was your lover and your sad crutter, working every day of the What the hell is a secretarial? Say office assistant or something like that if you can't say the damn word. Damn secretarial? Grown ass man, I ain't got time to be figuring that shit out, Mary. A trip too, man. All the little groups like that, man, I'm just really concerned about them too, man. You know, ain't nobody that, Everybody breaking up, you know, they ain't even in the same group with each other. They just putting people together now, you know. You know, JoJo, KC, where they, you know, they brothers. That's good. But this Levert, Sweat, and Gill, what's that all about? That shit don't even sound right, Levert, Sweat, and Gill. You know, I like them, though. I like them. I like them. But in a way, don't they all sound like different animals and insects when you think about it? I mean, when they be singing, Gerald LaVert sound like a grizzly bear or something. Yeah. Ooh, 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 ooh. Keith Sweat sound like a damn mosquito in your ear. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm hey, roll your window up, dog. <laughs> There's some bugs or something getting in. Johnny Gill smoothed in, he just turned into a rock while on your ass. What's all that barking and growling he get to doing? Johnny mess up a song, he start out smooth. You got me singing my, 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 Get your dog. Ain't nobody scared. You gotta be scared of black dogs. <laughs> Cause we don't have pet dogs. We don't have dogs that everybody know in the neighborhood. You just know when he get loose. White people have pet dogs. They have nice dogs. Everybody in the neighborhood know them. You know, Irish Setter, a Cocker Spaniel, Name Rusty or Lucky. Everybody, hi, Rusty. Hey, Russ. We got pit bulls and Rottweiler named Felony. Uzi Clip. Thug Life. Gat. We used to just have German Shepherds. Remember them big ass German Shepherds, man? Black German boy, them dogs that shut down a whole neighborhood, boy. German Shepherd, nigga King. That shut down a whole black neighborhood. Nigga, we be outside washing our cars some, everybody barbecuing, you know, hanging up clothes on the line. How you doing, Miss Johnson? Somebody walked by with two words, shut down the whole neighborhood. King loose. I'm gonna go in the house. I'm gonna go in the house for a little while. People ain't scared of dogs now, cause they wish a motherfucker would. That's black folk way right there, wish a motherfucker would. Y'all have noticed that? White people hope things don't happen. They do, they have, they, you know, they might have been late tonight, wasn't sure where they seat was, was coming in, was thinking, oh my God. Oh my God, I hope nobody's in our chairs. I hope nobody's in our seats. You know, black people, we don't hope. We be wishing. Nigga, we wish a motherfucker would be in our damn seats. We come in late like this right here, dog. Nigga, 
I wish a motherfucker would be in my damn chair. Man, much money I had to pay for these seats, dog. That's, yeah, that's us right there, four and five. Yeah, four and five, partner. Come on, let's go. We be looking for trouble, dog. That's why it ain't time for a lot of stuff we ask for, you know what I'm saying? That's why little things don't happen to us. That's why our gas don't get cut right off. We know we late on the gas bill. But when the gas man pull up, what we do? Walk our ass right out on the front, through that screen door. I know this motherfucker ain't ready to try to turn my shit off. You know, I wish a motherfucker would try to turn my shit off right now. Hey, dog, I got something in the oven right now. I'm cooking, partner. Get <laughs> that screen door closed, player. <laughs> That's why it ain't time for no black president. We talking about we want a black president. Come on now. No, no. What's the deficit, $600 billion, some shit like that? A, a black president owe somebody $600 billion? You know, he'll be sitting up there talking about, hey, hey, dog, tell him I ain't got it, man. <laughs> nigga, I can put something on it. I can put something on it, but I ain't got the whole thing, nigga, I'm short. See if they'll take a post-dated check or something, man, but I ain't got the... Black president handle issues differently, dog. We just ain't gonna be dealing with a lot of that nonsense. That's Saddam Hussein, you know, all that dealing with somebody three and four times about the same shit. Come on now, that ain't our way. Black people don't deal with nobody three and four times about the same shit. We gonna come over there and talk to your ass nice one time. We gotta come back, buckle up. It's gonna be me and you, mostly me. Bad dog, Monica Lewinsky, all that jumping up, yelling our business out in public. We don't play like that. We don't get fronted on. Black president be mad as hell about that shit. But yeah, the press conference doing his thing and a reporter jump up. Just, Tell us about Monica Lewinsky. What? <laughs> nigga, what you gonna ask me in front of my wife and everything, man? This nigga must be crazy, man. And when we start leaving, ooh, the president fight too much. He, he just, every time he goes somewhere, he always fight. <laughs> Bill Clinton got off too, he beat his case. Didn't you want to just call him and say that? Yeah, boy, you beat your case. <laughs> like your cousin or something. Did you get papers? Did you get papers though? <laughs> yeah, he beat his case, but he on five year papers. That show you, you large right there. You be the case like that and you don't need Johnny Cochran? Come on now, you gotta be large. You don't, you, that big old high profile case and you don't need Johnny Cochran? I keeps me $100 just in case I need Johnny Cochran. <laughs> now I know Johnny a little more than that, but 100 is 100 though, you know. Come on Johnny, that's 100 though, dog. come on. Just this one time, just this one time. He was, he was a little nervous though, Bill, at one time it was rough on him, he, you know, they, they was, the pressure was on him. He thought they was gonna get him, and he did call Johnny. He called Johnny, it was late one night, he called Johnny, and he hung up. He, he, he called Johnny again, he hung up the phone again. You know, Johnny looked on his call ID box, couldn't figure it out. He called back one more time, so Johnny a little irritated by now. Johnny like, who is this? Bill on the other end talking about, this is Mr. B. How you doing, Mr. B? What the hell is going on? What, 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 what you mean, what's going on? Half on a baby. I love, I love, that's a ghetto love song right there. You go half on a baby. On oh, a sweet little baby boy. That's a ghetto ass shit right there, eh? Mother would be loving it too. They would, cause, you know, you remember the first ghetto love song, Fiendin' by Jodeci? That was my cousin wedding song. I give you my money, my house and my car. 
For one hit of you, you can have it all, baby, baby. Look at they out there slow dancing. Look at this. You ever been to a ghetto wedding? You ever seen two ghetto ass people that love one another get together? Ooh, this was special right here. First of all, she a wedding gown. It it tore away. It was long. She it was a micro mini up under there, and she had on some mules, two sizes, too small. So she just trying to keep them on. So she just sliding down the aisle, you know, just ripping up the little cray paper they got down there. You know? Flower girl ain't got no flowers, nigga. She just throwing sunflower seeds all over. The People picking them up, eating them, and shit. Man. Bomb ass wedding right here, boy. This is what I'm talking about. <laughs> she and snuck some Luke bass music off in the wedding. She coming down the aisle all normal at first. It was regular wedding. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Hey, girl. Oh, so don't stop. Get it, get it, get the bit of it, the bit get the All the damn bridesmaids tore they shit off. I was like, ooh, shit, make us a little change up in her then. Every little bit help. Every little bit help. Big old German chocolate wedding cake, nigga. It was terrible. <laughs> oh, man. I was tripping off the groups though, man. Why ain't no groups no? Remember like in the 80s, all the groups was together? Nigga like Guy, it was True, New Edition. Everybody was together. They ain't got groups like that. They had little moves, you know, niggas be. Remember all the lead singers had this one right here? Well, you couldn't be no lead singer in the 80s. You ain't know how to do that right there, nigga. Mr. Telephone Man, there's something wrong with my life. <laughs> Your ass was troop. Spread my wings and fly away to that thing that you know. <laughs> you were Rockwell It always feel like Somebody watching me <laughs> Nigga you was Junior And mama used to say Take your time young man And mama used to say Put your back together <laughs> Nigga, you was Bobby Brown. <laughs> See me try to play it off, dog. Look here, y'all, I'm a grown ass man, I can't. <laughs> Nigga, I'm tired. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I can't do it like I used to. <laughs> I've been trying to get in shape though, man. You know, eat right, Tabo. <laughs> Nigga, I tried, Bo, couldn't do it, put it up. That shit up on the shelf like everything else, with abs of steel, <laughs> buns of steel, nigga, all, all that Richard Simmons shit, all that up there. <laughs> I did, man, I tried to go to the gym, but it get on my nerves, dog, because, you know, because the people at gym, at the gym, they already in shape. You know, they walking around all buff. Try to tell you what to do, using that gym language, talking about body parts. You don't understand what they're talking about. 
Hey, dude, if you want to break, you know, you do seven reps of six, and your tobo feel right, and your nubular carburetors, and your doubles, double tectoids. You talking about my arm, dog? Look here, play. I'm a grown ass man, dog. Say arm. You got time to be figuring that shit out. I can't do that. I did, man. I had to start working out, though, man, because it was a couple of years ago, you know, I was walking through the airport, you know, player. I'm walking through the airport, and this little boy going to come up to me. You know, look here. Somebody's son is what I'm trying to tell you. Going to walk up to me talking about, ain't you Big Papa? <laughs> Hell no. I mean, I might be a little husky. But I'll be damned if I'm notoriously big now, nigga. Nah, uh-uh. You ain't gonna put that one on me, man, nigga. I start working out on the spot. And two, and three, four, five, six. Feel the burn set, and seven. And I had to do something. Y'all took y'all Easter clothes back here? I know y'all be buying outfits just for that day. Come on now, quit playing. <laughs> How many of y'all went to church on Easter, though? Go on, tell the truth. Go on, that's good, praise him. Because, you know, a lot of times you don't go. That's one of the big going days right there, Easter. You got to go. A lot of people go. And you go to church on Easter, you see some people that ain't been in quite a while. Y'all, Lord, boy, you go to church on Easter, you see some people ain't been there so long, nigga, they don't even know what to do. Oh, they all up in the pulpit. Hey, player, hey, dog, these two seats taken right here. Oh, them somebody's seats, all right. <laughs> but see, the thing about going, see, I, I, I hadn't been in a while. I went a couple of weeks ago, and I ain't been in church in a while. You know, so... Uh, you know, thing is, you know, I went in there, and, you know, that made me a visitor. That's scary right there. That's the scary part about going when you be a visitor because that means at some point in time, you might have to stand up and have words. And see, it'd be scary, especially when you got to follow that one lady that know the whole little speech real good. You know, she, first of all, giving honor to God, pastor members and friends, who's the head of my life. And I come to you on behalf of the greatest Sunday Mount Missionary Baptist Church when my Reverend the Thessalonians Arkin D. K. Jr. says to me, and I quote from 2 Corinthians. You sitting over there like, damn, I don't know none of that shit. <laughs> then I stood up in the middle of the aisle talking about uh, all I know is hip hop language, nigga. I'm talking about, uh, first of all, giving big ups to God. Uh, Reverend, you bout it, bout it. And the choir. <laughs> Yeah, I start talking like juvenile. So you want me to come down the aisle, huh? You trying to get me to do the communion, huh? You want me to get baptized, huh? You trying to make me pay my tithes, huh? You want some money, huh? You a paper chaser. You got your body on. Oh, man. Church big too now. They got big old churches, big preachers. It blew up a little more now. You got like big, big, large preachers like T.D. Jakes, Creflo Dollar. Large doing big churches, be on tour. Be doing the Holy Palooza 2 tour. Christian mania. I watched this. We had a black, it was a black, like he was like a pimp type cat. He was a faith healer. I saw him on cable one night, like from Detroit, straight finger waves. All blue suit on, blue gators, you know, real cool. <laughs> What's up, y'all? He was healing people, though. He was like, come up here, this little boy right here say he blind. Come on here, let me see if I can do something to you. Psycho Alpha Disco Beta Bio Aqua Dulu. Go on now. Can you see me? Am I clear to you? Picture me rolling. Get on out of here, little boy. <laughs> I'm wild. I'm crazy. I'm wild. This lady right here say she got diabetes, she got sugar. Come on up here, sugar. Come on, how you doing? Chemo, combo, spare, spare, high, whore, rumble, sticker, something in the soup bag. We gonna call it material. Get on out of here. 
Somebody give a snicker. Come on now. <laughs> Not going anywhere for a while. Go somewhere, girl. I'm crazy. I'm wild. I'm healing people this evening. Come on. The trip, man. You ever go to church and it be second Sunday? Old folk choir. Keep it real with me. I'm going to keep it real with you. Don't nobody really want to be there on old folk choir, do you? You finally got, your, got up and went on in and you go and it be old folk choir. You can hear them singing when you're going. You be like, golly. Damn, they be in there hearing them hymns, you know, them long, drawn out. Yeah. Where marching Zion, brood of a brood of a Zion. Brood of us You be in there trying to stay up. Hey, give me a peppermint or something, dog. You know that mean the old preacher gonna be there? You be like, oh, Lord. He be preaching and praying forever. You be in there thinking, oh, my goodness, nigga, the game on. Your mom up there thinking, I need to put some more water in my green. I know that water ain't cooked down out my greens. Mm -mm -mm. About to mess up my greens with this. Go call your daddy and tell him to put some more water. Because <laughs> you know his ass ain't go. You know he ain't go. He ain't left y'all at the house in his drawers. Tell him I pray for me and I'm going in. Why daddy ain't got to go? Rap been a trip this year too, man. I was tripping out there. Rap in an it escalated. You no, know, they got like songs. You can just put anything on the radio now. You don't know now. Rap ride like me, you don't know now. Now. You can just say anything on the radio. See, I used to like like Snoop Dogg. That was my days right there. Snoop was my rapper, boy. One, two, three, and ten of four. <laughs> Snoop Doggy Dogg is at the desert. That was my cat. When Bone Thugs came out, I knew I was old. I couldn't keep up with them, man. They rapped too damn fast with me, nigga. I thought they were Spanish. I ain't know what the hell was going on. <laughs> nigga, I thought it was a new Taco Bell commercial or something when they first came. Hey, didn't give it a burrito, taquito, didn't give it a burrito, cream. Didn't give it a Mexican Americano with some sour cream. On the first wake up, wake up, wake up, it's the first of the month. It's the first I like, nigga, that new Taco Bell commercial. Nigga, I don't know, but now they got back to fun music. Now people up dancing, you know, Puff Daddy out, you know, got that dance music. I like that when you dance. I ain't like that music when the rappers got to talking about death all the time. He died like Tupac, you know, Tupac, that was my man, but boy, he died every three records. Tupac, if I die tonight, nigga, I'll be dead. So homie don't page me. He's like dying. I see death around the corner. I'm like, damn, Park, don't die like that, dog. Damn. I be wondering why they used to rap about death like that. I did not tripped off of it. You know, life ain't all hunky dory. You know, life ain't all full of games and good times. I know this. I think I'm a grown ass man. I got issues. I know stuff going wrong. I mean, I got problems in my life. The stuff make me want to die sometime. I mean, not no real serious stuff. Not, you know, die really, but, you know, the figurative. You know, you get up in the middle of the night, go into the bathroom, stub your damn toe on the end of the bed. Come on now. Come on, you can't tell me that pain right there. No not make you want to lay down, call him on up. Let's go, Jesus. Let's see. Woo, Father, this is the one right here. I can't take it. Somebody come, cow God. Somebody come get me and take me away. I can't do it. I can't. You know, you get up in the morning, you cook and eat some bacon and eggs, and that damn bacon grease jump up, fry you on your hand. Come on, player. You can't tell me they don't want you to be dead right there. You just go on this Let's just shut it down. Y'all don't know what I'm going through, man. Y'all ain't feeling me. Y'all don't know. Y'all ain't knowing.